everybody. Um, I'm here today to talk about uh, straight some things about epithelial tissue. So epithelial tissue. Let's talk about what it does. Lines, covers, secretes, protects, and so epithelial tissue is this. Uh, remember that tissues are groups of cells that all do the same thing. Same, uh, what do you call it, uh, function. So all epithelial tissue is, is a group of cells that all do the same thing. Uh, where do you find it? You find epithelial tissue uh, lining tubes, covering organs. So you when you're looking for epithelial tissue and we're looking in the microscope we're gonna we're gonna look for tubes and it's the groups of cells that lie in tubes and lie in openings. Um, a couple things about specialized organs of epithelial. So we'll do this with all of them but what are some things about it that make it specialized? Okay, the first thing is something called a goblet cell. Now you see up there that one of the things gob that one of the things epithelial does is secrete. So goblet cells are specialized cells in the epithelial tissue lining. And the goblet cell will look like if you're looking through a microscope, you'll see it looks something like this where it has a tube to the outside, be another one over here, maybe. They're not all like this. For example, in your salivary gland, I'm drawing it bigger now. This is your salivary gland. The cells that line the inside of the salivary gland, there's tissues in here. Those have goblet cells in them. And those goblet cells are what are actually secreting the saliva into the opening here. And then the salivary gland secretes saliva out onto the surface of your mouth. So if you're wondering where things like saliva come from, they're manufactured inside of cells. Those enzymes that are in saliva are manufactured inside of the cell, secreted out here, mixed with water, and then excreted onto the surface of your mouth. Those are called, those are goblet cells. Another interesting characteristic of epithelial cells, epithelial tissue, is the idea that they have cilia on their surface. Many cells will have on their surface these tiny little hair-like things called cilia. Those cilia beat back and forth and move things. So they help move things along tubes and openings like in your trachea. The third thing about epithelial tissue, and this is one that you can look for when you're, when you're looking through the microscope at them, is epithelial tissue. Let's say we have a bunch of simple columnar cells here. You'll learn later about how those work. All epithelial tissue is fastened on to the tissues below it by something called a basement membrane. And that basement membrane, that basement membrane is the thing that fastens epithelial tissue onto the tissues below it. So in a very brief time, that is our discussion of epithelial tissue. 